first, I want you to take a look at this new government reform for Burgundy. Basically, it gives you plus 2 diplomatic relations, well, and some other bonuses, of course, but diplomatic relations is the most important one. Why? Let's grant strong touches and just look. 9. Diplomatic relations. The start. And this makes Burgundy one of the best nations in Europe for vessel heavy playthrough. Or maybe even becoming HRE Emperor. Now let's start with privileges. Mana privileges, religious diplomats, and take Burger loans. Seize land, complete this mission. As your rivals choose England, France, and either Savoy or Provence. I will choose Savoy. Focus on military, higher level 1 military advisor, preferably discipline 1 or morale 1. Now ally Austria, usually it's possible and quite easy. And ally either Aragon or Castile. Here I will ally Aragon. Also preferably they both should hate France, preferably. It's not necessary, but it would be good. Now in South France and in South England. You will be able to commit one more mission. So now you have two diplomats and you have two choices. First choice, you can improve relations with French vessels. Three of them, to be precise. So you can complete this mission. This will make these vessels unloyal, so they won't help France in the first war. But personally, I prefer to do it later, after the first war. Later I will tell you why. But Instead, I would recommend to carry favors with your allies. Also, I recommend to hire master company, preferably with the biggest siege pips, like this one. Lower your maintenance and just wait until you get fourth military technology. And also, Savoy and Provence may get excommunicated sometimes. And if they don't have strong allies or their allies won't support them, declare on them. But do this only if they're excommunicated. Sweden might ask you to support its independence. Always refuse. Well, here we go. Savoy got excommunicated. Austria Hill will support it, but as you can see, they don't really like them. So there is quite a big chance that it won't. If it doesn't support Savoy, declare. And of course, if Savoy doesn't have strong allies. Basically, declare only if this war is going to be easy. Here we go, surrender of Maine. Sometimes England may just give this province to France without war. Not the best outcome, but well, it's not that bad. Also, sometimes this event may not fire at all. I don't know why, but it sometimes happens. Well, the same. It's not that bad, but it's not good. And as you can see, Austria won't support Savoy. You should declare in this case, but I won't, because it's quite random. You don't have to take much from them, just these two provinces from Savoy and these two provinces from Provence. So you don't need much war score. After you get 4th military technology, you have to raise your maintenance, open subjects, nevers, seize land, rethel, and release champagne. And quite unfortunately, in this case, Aragon won't join. That's why it's the best if both Iberian nations rival France, so no one allies France and they both will support you. First war against France might be quite difficult for the beginners, so how to increase your chances? First, obviously, you can fill in your allies. Second, you already have 4th military technology and that makes a very big difference, believe me. Also, it's better to strike while England is at war against France, then France will need to focus on both nations. Also, if you want really, really easy war, like I said, you can complete this mission. But again, it's better to leave it for future. Well, anyway, I will declare like this, I don't want to wait for Austria. Declare Reconquer CB. Basically, don't leave your vessels alone, try to kill French troops. You have very big advantage. Also, don't forget you have uh, this awesome general. Of course, I don't recommend to use him, because it's your ruler and he will quickly die. But, but if you don't have other choice or your other general from mercenaries are quite bad, you can use your ruler. That's why I said you have very big advantage. You might not believe me, of course, but just try it out. All the France does have very good generals, so be careful with France. As you can see, even though France had more troops, I still won. Again, if you're not confident, use your allies, complete mission, whatever. But you should win against France. Unfortunately, England has pissed out, but still, that was great help in the beginning. And now Aragon agrees to join. It's not necessary, but still, I will accept. Already 29 war score, that's not bad. You don't need much war score, believe me. And also, I can clone Austria, but why would I? I've almost won, and I don't need 100 war score. I don't. And neither you. So yes, that's the whole peace deal. So, reconquer course of your vessel, that's reconquest, and take either Bordeaux, if possible of course, sometimes France doesn't take it, or make this kind of snake, for Gascony. Gascony is a very good vessel. Also, of course, you could release Toulouse. To be honest, I can't say anything good or bad about releasing Toulouse. Of course, you'll be able to reconquer some land, but on the other hand, in the next war, you'll need to take both Paris and reconquer Gascony course, so there won't be enough of war score. And also, the shorter the truce, the better it is. So, someone is unloyal, nevers. Placate local rulers, now it's loyal. Let's release Cascany. To be honest, even I thought it was going to be more difficult. Well, it's random, it's random. But generally, you should be able to win. While you have truce with France, you can declare either on Savoy or Provence. Of course, only if it's easy. If it's not easy, if it's difficult, don't do it. 
also start improving relations with French vessels. And don't let your vessels become unloyal, that would be very bad. Even develop their provinces, if necessary. In this patch AI loves to support independence. And if it does, well, I'm sorry, you're in big trouble. Also improve relations with Nevers. You will need to annex it. I will also mod some forts to keep my income stable. Well, I'm not current on anyone right now, because no need to. And also, if your ruler is still alive, I would recommend to do this. Assign him to army, enable army drilling. You need him to die before 1455. Provence is now defenseless, and that means I will attack. I would also put my ruler to siege. I want to kill my ruler. Later I'll explain why, but believe me, it's necessary. Usually he dies like 5 years earlier. This case is an exception, it's not a rule. What can I say? Bad timing. Excommunicate CB is 10 times better than conquest one. But well, unfortunately, I've already declared. And finally he is dead. So from Provence take these two provinces. Not these two, but these two. And definitely not all four of them. Just look at this coalition. Just these two provinces to protect Provence from HRE. And also start annexing Nevers as soon as possible. Of course you can integrate it for free, but until that happens, and it will happen in 20 years, you will have to pay Diplo slot for it. And that's bad. Also, if this ruler dies before the second war with trends, saves come. He should leave for quite a while. One vessel got annexed, not a big deal. Still, don't use this mission. Just don't, it's bad idea. I integrated Nevers, and that means I have one more deeper relation. And I also can complete this mission, but like I said, I won't. France is annexing two vessels at the same time, and I think that should be enough to finally complete this mission. It's better to complete this mission as late as possible, because France may reduce liberty desire of its vessels, and this mission will transfer only unloyal vessels to you. It won't transfer all vessels. Not to mention that some nations actually may support independence of vessels, and that will bring a lot of chaos to your playthrough. Finally, truce with France has expired. I have one more military technology, its vessels are mostly unloyal, and I will call in Austria. Declare the conquest. All unloyal vessels have run away to this province, I don't know why, but it's funny. 24,000 troops don't do anything, because they are unloyal. No problems at all. Half of French army didn't even get to battlefield. Take Paris, that's very important. And return course to Gascony. Return only French course. Don't touch vessels. You will get them for free. Well, ok, 75 war score, no need for anything else. Again, truce should be short. As first strategy group, take either diplomatic or influence. Influence if you want to play with a lot of vessels, diplomatic if you want to play as usual. I would of course take influence, because why not. And that's why it's better to complete this mission as late as possible. Well, they might declare independence, they might not, you can't predict. Meanwhile, Savoy is defenseless. And I will use this opportunity, always be opportunistic. Unfortunately, Provence now is part of an empire. I don't know how it happened, because it doesn't bother any HRE member. Still no problem to conquer later. As your first ability, take this one. Justified wars. And of course I could click this button and steal French vessels, but I won't yet. First, I want this war to end. Maybe it will end in white peace. I will conquer these two provinces. So again, remember the rule of coalition. For coalition to appear, there must be four nations without truce or with negative opinion of you. So I will just improve relations for a little and there will be no coalition. And now I can peace out. Don't be greedy, don't take too much, I will just take two provinces in France and war operations. And that's already not bad. So I can finally complete this mission, I will get all French vessels. We are a little bit over the much relations, but still not bad. I would recommend to complete this mission just before you complete this one. So all French vessels are unloyal. So blockade local rulers and develop their provinces, nothing difficult. Technically there is no best moment when to steal French vessels. The best one of course after the second truce ends. But that's not always possible. Sometimes it's better to steal them earlier. So I spent a lot of mana but now all of my vessels are loyal. Always keep them loyal. Like I said, in this version AI loves to support independence. Don't forget to royal marry your vessels. It will help you with liberty desire, well just a little, but it will help. When you have decent income, don't forget to hire some advisors and you might start building some buildings. Also, in theory, you can always declare on England. That's just in theory, because in practice usually it's not available. Or it's available, but not the best option. Still, you can consider it. The truce with France has expired. And I think it's time for the most important part of this guide. As soon as that happens, click this wonderful button. Applicate ruler. No matter your heir, you will trigger the Burgundian succession. You can change it, you can't do anything about it. As you can see, there are four options. First option, remain independent. Second, go to Austria. Third, go to your royal Mary partner. And the last one, go to France. I've seen a lot of people suggest the fourth option, 
It is the best, but it also the most risky. It might be actually not the best idea. I will show you both of these options. Let's start with remain independent. France declares war on us, but it's defensive war, we call in everyone and we win. It's very easy. I can do nothing, I will just pit 5 and my allies will deal with it. If you choose this option, this event will appear. It will always appear, I think. Well, there might be small chance that it won't, but in my experience it always appears. So, there are again three options. Bad one, bad one, good one. Well, of course you can choose the first one, if you want to go against Austria. But I recommend the second one. So, you integrate your Dutch PUs. Okay, I'll be honest, this is my third time trying this. And this is the first time when Austria declared. So, let me just describe what would happen usually. You can just save scum if you want to. Usually, usually, you get uh, this privilege called the Great Privilege. Basically, it means Lowlands will get a lot of autonomy, but you can always revoke it after 20 years. And then nothing bad happens. So basically, you integrate Lowlands, become number one great power in Europe, beat up France, Austria doesn't go at war against you, everything is great. I love this option. Well, I think you understood. Again, it happened, but it usually doesn't, especially if you allied Austria. Now let's take a look at the last option. And this is why everyone recommends this option. You integrate all of your vessels. Not only Lowlands, but also French vessels. But there is one catch. You need to declare ASAP. And I mean ASAP. Let's declare. You can't find any allies, you can't do anything. You need to declare. Also, you don't have any current capacity. So this means you will be over your force limit. Still, I recommend to state everything first. For now at least. Because France tends to make some alliances, this war usually is not the easiest one. It's definitely not for the beginners. And if you unpause and try to find some allies, believe me, you will get annexed. Instantly. You will lose. Reminding you, this war might not be easy, if France has allied a lot of nations. In one of my playthroughs, it allied Castile, and as you can guess, there was no happy ending for me. I won against France just because I have some experience. If you don't, that would be quite difficult war. Anyway, before making peace, look at this. That's because you've stated every possible province. And state them only after you won the war, not before, after. So, I've unstated all of my provinces. Okay, I will just take these two provinces. War operations, money. So, like I said, if you're a beginner, just choose the first option. Remain independent. Also, of course, if France doesn't have any allies, you can choose this option. So, I will release some vessels. Normandy, Toulouse. I will try to ally Austria once again, and Ergon. Also, the disadvantage of this method is that it's like exploit. It works, but it's not really legal, let's say. So because of this, you won't be able to complete this mission before waiting for 1500. And now I can declare on England. Let's do it. Reconquest, call in Ergon. By the way, I think I haven't told you how to fix your guarding capacity issues. Well, uh, first, of course, you could upgrade to Kingdom, but if you enter the HRE, you will become touchy once again, so it's not an option. First solution is to release some vessels, well, like I've done, and from this moment only vessel allies. Second solution is to enter HRE, make Elector your vessel, and ask Austria to become Elector. Then you will become Kingdom, and you will have a little bit more current capacity. And the last option is to become the Emperor of HRE. Well, enforce peace means enforce peace. Unfortunate, but still. So unfortunate because I don't have current capacity, but I have a lot of forts and a lot of troops, I have to fix my economy. Let's do it some forts. Let's fire advisors. Our economy is relatively stable. Uh, while you can declare wars, I recommend you to start allying electors. So you have chance to be elected as emperor. Well, you do have a lot of diplomatic slots. 11 of them. So there shouldn't be a problem. Becoming emperor is your best bet to increase current capacity. By the way, even if you don't integrate into France, still you will have problems with current capacity because you joined HRE as duchy. You can hire the punch reputation advisor if you want to become emperor. It will increase your chances. One nation already votes for me. The truth with France has expired. Well, of course, it's better to declare. Reconquest CB, that's why early to lose. I will make Brittany co belligerent. I'm sure not everyone knows, but force vassalizing instead of conquering and releasing gives you less aggressive expansion. You will get 25% less aggressive expansion. So let's see coalition and try to fix it. So everyone except France and Brittany will join the coalition. That's why I'm currently improving relations. And now I will finally peace out. I will take this province to isolate France and to release one more nation. Also can call in everyone against Great Britain. War reconquest. It was really, really easy. Take on province, Calais and war operations. And here we go, 16th century. So, you will be able to complete this mission. Or maybe even earlier, if you became independent. So, let's do it. Now we are in HRE. Because I allied electors and improved relations with them, everyone wants to elect me. So, if Austrian ruler dies, I will become the emperor of HRE. 
now that you are in HRE, you can finally declare on HRE nations. Like for example on Provence, if we joined HRE to form Lotharingia, you will need to complete this mission. If you don't, there won't be a decision. Also, like I said, you can visualize Elector and ask Austria to transfer Electorship to you. And to easily become Emperor, you can complete this mission. It will grant you 2 to point reputation, so plus 20 points to elect you. To be elected, just have big prestige, big legitimacy, great relations with electors and ally them. And use vessels. First, because, well, why not use your ability? It's very cool. And second, because you might not have enough occurring capacity for everything. And also, let's be honest, Vassal Swarm is quite cool. And some small general tips. I would recommend to vassalize Provence because, well, it has mission, which grants its course on Naples. Also, Burgundy has this unique garment reform. This one. Choose it. Always choose it. Not only because you gain even more subject bonuses, but because it will prevent the Dutch Revolt, one of the worst disasters. You can also prevent it by moving your capital to Lowlands. But this reform is better. And obviously, if you want to become Emperor, deal with reformation quickly. Do not let it grow. Well, anyway, thank you for watching this video. Hope you liked it. If you liked it, please like it and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.